Hello everyone, welcome back to Playlist Pop. My name is Edward and today I'm going to be talking about why the original concept for Justin Bieber's music video Boyfriend got scrapped. With the anticipation of Justin's new album Believe that Justin spoke about on October 26, 2011 on Capitol FM with Rich Clark along with revealing he was working with Kanye West and Drake on it. The next year on March 1st, 2012 on Justin's birthday which he had just turned 18, he made an appearance on The Allen Show to announce his new single, Boyfriend, which would release on March 26. The song is, is basically I'm talking to this girl, I'm like you know, if I was your boyfriend, I'd never let you go. And uh, the verses, I'm kind of like talking, rapping, and then on the hook, I'm singing. And it's really, it's a really awesome song. A few days later, on March 7, he posted a tweet saying, Boyfriend was out early, but it turns out it was only a prank. And if you do remember the video he pranked people with, share it down in the comments because I couldn't find out what video that link lead to because when I clicked on it, the video was already taken down. On March 10th, Justin tweeted some boyfriend lyrics with the hashtag 15 days. Then a few days later, Later, on March 16, Justin had revealed two single artwork covers for Boyfriend on his website for his fans to vote which one should be the official cover. By tweeting him on Twitter using the hashtag JBBoyfriend1 or hashtag JBBoyfriend2 and that the official artwork would be announced on Monday. On March 19, Justin was on the cover of Complex for their 10th anniversary issue which in the cover and photos we see Justin had taken a beating and the photos were taken by photographer Tony Kelly. For my understanding as to what the photo shoot symbolized it was metaphoric showing that no matter what the haters say he's not gonna let them bring him down especially now that he's 18 he's grown a lot since his debut so in the magazine Justin talked about his life along with his relationship with Selena Gomez at the time and he also revealed some rap lyrics he does for his upcoming lead single boyfriend and he also told the magazine it's his responsibility to be the greatest he can be and he just wants people to give his music a chance that same day Justin revealed the winner for the official single artwork which was the first one along with announcing an edit with both photos together that was going to be used exclusively for the Walmart boyfriend single cover CD. With only six days till the release on March 21st the lyrics to boyfriend were revealed. On March 22nd Justin uploaded a 12 second video on his YouTube where we could see behind the scene footage of the making of boyfriend with a snippet of the intro of the song as well. Also that same day Justin made an appearance on the Allen Show to play a snippet of the song. On March 24th, he released a 45 second teaser of Boyfriend with the hashtag 35 days where we got to hear a part of the instrumental of the song and also seeing footage of Justin in the studio putting the song together. March 26th had arrived and the lead single Boyfriend to his new album Believe had released. The song was a more mature sound than his past work. It was also described as an R&B and hip hop influenced track having early 90s pop mixed with a Justin Timberlake like feel to it. So the song was written by MDL, Black Bear, Mike Posner, and Justin Bieber and it was produced by Mike Posner, MDL, and Black Bear. So a fun fact you might not know is originally this song was actually meant to be a collaboration song for Rick Ross and Mike Posner. So Mike Posner has talked about this a few times and I decided to just pick two sources. So the first one I picked was in a 2016 video titled How I Wrote That for a video Mike did for The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon which he said one night as he was filming a music video and hanging out with Black Bear he was singing some of the lyrics he thought of as Black Bear was playing the guitar but he didn't really like them so he decided to work on it more in the studio and that's when the words if I was your boyfriend came to his mind and that's pretty much how it began. He also said during the process when working with Justin Bieber on the song Justin wrote his own lyrics in the verses and he liked that Justin added swaggy in the song. Then the second source was on Genius in 2016 when he gave a more detailed answer about the process saying originally I wrote much raunchier verse lyrics it was like if I was your boyfriend I never let you go put you on a ship that I bet you didn't know we could take a trip babe all around the globe take pics of my if you keep it on the low can you keep a secret do you want to see it i thought so that is what i wrote originally and then what often happens when you write songs for someone else they need to make it their own justin was 16 at the time so a lot of those lyrics didn't make sense for him and on october 13 2013 mike uploaded a video of him black bear mdl creating the song for justin a few years later in a 2022 interview black bear gave on the zach saying show he revealed the song 
song was originally titled Bedroom and as for how Justin got the song he said during the process of when they changed it to Boyfriend that's when Justin's manager heard it and instantly wanted it for Justin. So the song became a huge success peaking at number 2 on the US Billboard Hot 100 charts. Justin's first performance of Boyfriend was on The Voice on May 8th and besides a few dance remixes Boyfriend got two remixes one featuring 2 Chains, Mac Miller and Asher Roth and another remix featuring the Ying Yang Twins. On March 29, Justin tweeted he was in the process of filming the Boyfriend music video and the next day March 30th, Justin released a teaser for the music video where we saw a lot of hands on him and on the set of the music video, Justin spoke to MTV News sharing some details on the concept of the video saying, The concept of this video, I mean it's not like a steady concept, it's not like Justin follows his girl to this spot, no it's a bunch of amazing scenes like a fire scene, we have an ice scene and then there's scenes of me and just a bunch of girl dancers and just some great shots, great artistic shots, great shots of me smiling, it's fun. The video is really good, Colin has done a great job, the lighting has been amazing and everything's been so unique and I haven't seen anything like it. So I think people are going to be really surprised. So Colin Tilling has actually worked with Justin on his past work such as You Smile and Never Let You Go music videos. The next month April 1st being April Fools and Justin being known to do pranks, he ended up sharing a link saying it was a second teaser which ended up only being a prank but on April 3rd he did end up sharing the second teaser which like he mentioned to MTV News we saw a fire scene along with a water scene. On April 9th with all the great news the song was getting as a thank you Justin ended up tweeting a new teaser to Boyfriend and one of the scenes in particular reminded people of Michael Jackson where we see Justin pose against what it looked like a full moon. On Tuesday 9th April 17th on the singing competition show The Voice Justin made an appearance and released a 4 teaser slash trailer for Boyfriend and after it was shown Justin announced his album Believe would be released on June 19th and that he would return to The Voice in 3 weeks for the finale to perform Boyfriend. And one thing I wanted to point out that I found very strange is that if you go on Google it said the album was out on the 15th of June but if you go on his Twitter when he announces the album was out it was on the 18th and of course it depends on your time zone so for some people he tweeted that on the 19th and technically it was a 19th when he did release the album so I'm really unsure as to why Google it says that the album was released on the 15th when it actually was released on the 19th I don't know maybe someone can explain that to me because I'm really curious why Google doesn't have the real release date so during April 21st and 22nd footage and images of Justin being on set filming the music video was leaked and posted online and on April 22nd the filming for the boyfriend music video was finishing up and on April April 25th, Justin gave an interview on Capital Breakfast radio show and when asked what else we can expect from the music video besides what we've seen so far in the teasers, he said there was some big surprises in the video along with saying there was a weird twist no one is expecting. Next month on May 1st, the Boyfriend music video had got a release date, had a planned premiere on MTV Thursday, May 3rd during MTV's first Justin Bieber along with after the premiere, Justin would do a live chat on MTV.com and answering questions from fans on Twitter that are tweeted at MTV News with the hashtag MTV First or Ask Beaver. So the next day May 2nd a new teaser was released to promote the premiere on MTV where we saw he was out in the streets cuddling with a girl hanging out with friends and driving. So it's premiere day May 3rd and a few moments before the video premiered Justin said he changed some things up from the scenes that he previously teased. So when watching the video it seemed like what we were teased about we were getting until after 30 seconds of seeing two girls watching a small clip of the original concept on their phones with it then switching to Justin driving to go hang out with some friends and meet up with his girlfriend in the video dancing and having a good time with no sight of seeing the water or fire scene we witnessed in the teasers. The music video got mixed reviews. There was also some comparing to NSYNC's girlfriend video and also some saying it reminded them of the movie The Fast and the Furious. But most of the reaction was very confused as to what happened to the original concept concept we were teased about and what happened that they had to change the music video last minute. After the video was premiered there was no answer as to what happened or why the original concept was scrapped or changed last minute. So even though we didn't get an answer from Justin as to why there was a change but we kind of got an answer or at least an answer as to why this was the direction for the second boyfriend music video from the director, Director X. So some of X's previous work was With The Wanted, Glad You Came and When The Sun Goes Down 
music video, which he spoke to MTV about the video, saying the idea was really to show a lifestyle piece, Justin hanging out to show that he's older, just to see this new vibe, we get to see that he's growing into his manhood, just to get in an environment where we can show that he's naturally, just have fun and get the vibe of who he is. So I really couldn't find a direct answer as to why there was a last minute change, but from comments and just different sources that I found of people giving their opinion. It sounds like they thought that the original concept was just too grown for him. Another thing that I found out is that the new music video for Boyfriend was filmed on April 21st and April 22nd. So I guess around the beginning of April or so, that's when they changed directors, which I guess makes sense because when you look at the last teaser that he released of Boyfriend, it was way different compared to the other ones. It sucks that they did scrap the original concept because all that work and they decided last minute to get rid of it. I'm hoping that maybe in a future anniversary on this album, maybe Justin will decide to release the original concept for the music video because I'm pretty sure they did finish it. What are your thoughts on this? Were you disappointed when you saw the music video for Boyfriend? Were you wondering as to what happened to the original concept? And if it was possible for Justin to release the original concept video, would you have liked to see it? Share it down in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and also subscribe for more more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day and I'll see you later.